visuals, welcome back to the channel where today's FFF, this, believe it or not, it sounds like fucking bullshit, I know it does. I didn't intend for this to happen, but I'm pretty sure this video is going to come out the same day. I'm Dan, by the way, from the visual guys. Uh, <laughs> it's going to come out the same day as Shazam gets released in cinemas, and today's FFF is all about Shazam. Like I said, I know it just sounds like shit because you can tire while it's going to be out there and I'll do it in time. I just thought I'd do one on Shazam and at the minute Shazam's not out for another two weeks and I always pre-record a week in advance so I've always got two of each category video on ready to upload so we're never fall behind. I think it's worked out quite nicely so yeah, um, if you don't believe me, you don't believe me. I swear to God, I didn't plan, I swear to, I swear to heck. Well that's how that's bad. Yes visuals, welcome back and let's just fucking roll into it with a uh, fucking Philip DeFrank there. Uh, FFF. Shazam a go. He wasn't actually created by DC Comics. He was created by Fawcett Publications. I think I'm pronouncing them right there. Fawcett Publications. For a, a short period of time, in fact, no, it was actually quite a, quite a, quite a while. I think it was about two years or so. He was actually out selling the likes of Superman and Batman, which now leads on to our next fact. Because of that last fact, and he was out selling Superman, DC in fact sued Fawcett Publications because they said Shazam was a cheap imitation and a ripoff of Superman because they do have similar sort of powers. Uh, the strength, the speed, the flight, the bulletproof skin, bulletproof immunity, bullet immunity as you see in the film. Um, so he, they, they thought it was a cheap knockoff and a ripoff, and they were just uh, gaining off Superman's momentum. They sued them so many times, and it went on for that long. Fawcett Publications had to eventually fall because they couldn't keep uh, paying and they couldn't afford the legal fees, which is a bit of a shame and a bit of a dick move on DC's part. Um, but now he's into the DC universe, so in the long run, it's without sounding like a dick, it's kind of all right. <laughs> But before um, DC actually took the character of Shazam, Captain Marvel, um, he was just laying in the waste and Marvel swooped in and um, took the licensed and copyrighted name for Captain Marvel, which obviously Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, that onwards, this is where the big confusion is, I've talked to a few people about this. Um, and DC brought him on, they just got him as Shazam, he was Captain Marvel, but it just henceforth will always be known as Shazam. But that's how Marvel swooped in, DC then just took the character and renamed him, kept the lore and the backstory and stuff. And yeah, cool. <laughs> when you go to the big screen to watch Shazam, it's not the first time he's appeared on uh, the, the, well, the first time he's appeared on the big screen, but it's appeared on <coughs> screens before. He had two TV shows, fucking donkeys years ago. And there we go, visuals. That was this Friday's Five Fast Facts all about Shazam. And if I, like I said, if I'm right, we'll have uh, a potential unboxing up. I don't know where I'm at with the unboxings, what I've got ordered and what's coming. Uh, but we'll have the Shazam film review, uh, WrestleMania predictions potentially. I think it's all next week. I can't fucking remember. Or is it the week after? I don't know what I'm at. But anyway, we'll have some really cool shenanigans going on. Visuals, thank you so much for watching. Keep in here, keep on, keep it out. Shit. Forgot. I'll do it. I'll do it in. Uh, this is this is laying here. Remember, this isn't me. Oh God, Dan, so funny. He's transforming to something else. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, anybody you want, five fast facts on. Let me know in the comments below. Visual, thanks so much for watching. Okay, man. Okay, man.